Hello, this is Hello from Trifold Productions with another bunch of quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you all to an add-on. It's not really an add-on, it's a blend file that's called the Curtain Generator. And it's pretty handy. It uh, pretty much does a specific kind of curtain. But uh, curtain's a curtain, so it d does come in handy. And this is only for like uh, 3.0 and above nothing below 3.0 uh, so one to work in 2.78 or 2.9 or 2.8 just 3.0 and above and I'll leave a link of the add-on or the uh, blend file uh, in the description below this video and this is the same process as the other as the tire add-on I'm going to navigate to where uh, the page is and you just type in the amount you want to give it it's a free add-on but you can give to help out the developer so you type in the amount you want and you click on I want this and they'll send you a link for um, uh, where you can download the, the blend file my phone's kinda going off we just had a mass shooting uh, down the street at, the, at a hospital from where I live so if you hear my phone buzz in the background that's pretty much why everyone's trying to check up on us to make sure we're doing okay uh, but back to the tutorial, um, I'll leave a link for this uh, add-on of the blend file uh, in the description of the video. And once you've downloaded the blend file, you open up 2. Point, or 3.0 or 3.1, I'm using 3.1 at this time. And the add-on is pretty much just straightforward. Um, let me see, just uh, navigate to where you've uh, saved it. I've saved it on my external hard drive. And this is a zip file, so you have to unzip it. And once you've unzipped it, you'll get uh, this blend file. And let me see. Uh, you go to File, uh, Open, and um, you'll see Curtain Generator right there. Click on that and click on Open. And you'll see uh, the curtain here. And it, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of an elaborate. It's got the curtain plus the, uh, the drapes at the top. So it's really not that bad. It doesn't come with textures, but you can apply textures yourself. So we're going to connect all this together. Let's join this together also. And let me see, let's activate the option button so you can actually click on the curtain and see it, you know, see what it can do if you want to move it around. Want to expand this window here, this panel. And it's all modifiers. It uses geometry nodes. That's why you can't use it in any version. Let's get loaded on 3.0. Because only 3.0 and above uses uh, geometry uh, nodes. And all the parameters right here, they're just straightforward parameters. You can just adjust them. Like I mentioned before, it only makes this kind of a curtain. It doesn't make any other kind, just this kind. You can increase the length. And these uh, parameters here affect the uh, curtain. For the drape, which is the this part here, the, the parameters for that. But let's see what it does with the curtain itself. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can uh, adjust the height. It adjusts the height both the at the top and at the bottom of uh, the drapery. You can adjust that. Let me pull this up so you can see what it does at the bottom. It kind of uh, gathers it more at the bottom when you adjust that parameter. You can adjust the wrinkles here. The number of folds in the drape, you can see that there. Uh, this, param this parameter opens and cl closes the curtains. So you can close them like that. I mean, you don't want to go too far with the opening and closing because if you do, they kind of intersect uh, into it itself. So you've got that. Oh, that was kind of too far. Let me see if I can close that back. There we go. Uh, let me see. You can affect the fold thickness also. Let me see if you can make it really thick. That kind of pokes out quite a bit. It's a little bit too much. And you can draw it, pull it back a little bit. Uh, the fold starting can affect that also. At the top and at the bottom. Open wider. Opens it more. But once again, you have to just kind of you know, not go too far with uh, adjusting the, the parameters. Because <clears throat> if you go too far, it tends to look kind of wonky looking. 
Uh, let me see, let me kind of pull that back in so it looks more realistic. Uh, the subdivisions on the X and Y axis, you can adjust that. Now this is the premise for the drapes. Uh, you can turn the drapes, have them on there, or you can have them off. Off, or actually this is on. Turn it to zero, turns them off. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's turn those back on. You can make them drop further down. Make it bow more. Uh, you can make them droop more too, which is the gravity part. Make them thicker also. And let's, like I mentioned before, you can only use this in 3.0, but if you want to use it in a lower version of Blender or another, any other 3D software, you just apply the modifier. Once you've made the adjustments to your liking, you just click on this arrow and click apply. It's got a mirror modifier also, you just click apply there too. And then with this highlighted, you just go to file uh, and export. And then you go to wavefront object and click on selection only. <clears throat> and you can just navigate to where you want to uh, store this. Let me see. Let me store this. I could probably just stay the, store this on the desktop. Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, just tired of all the smash shooting stuff. That's why I'm just not really. I'm trying to just stay focused on the tutorial. Let me put it on the desktop here, and let leave it like that, and export OBJ, and close this out. And it's going to be on my desktop, so just right here. Then I'm going to open up a lower version of Blender, which is 2.83. Have that come up <clears throat> and give it some time to load up. Shouldn't really take this long, but let's just give it a little bit of time. Okay, there we go. Let's delete this cube. Go to File, <clears throat> Import, Wavefront Object, and go to Desktop. And there's our curtain there. And make sure you, there are going to be two files. So make this one's going to be .mtl. This one's going to be .obj. Click on the one that says obj. Import obj. Oh, and it doesn't do it. I wonder why that happened. Uh, that is strange. Did I click on the right one? File. Import. Wave from object. Desktop. This is obj, isn't it? Click on that one. It's gonna pull that in. That is kind of weird file. Try it one more time. Import. It still doesn't do it. That is really, really strange. Let me see. Sometimes this happens in uh, Blender where you import an OBJ object in uh, cycles and it doesn't work. So the next step that you'd have to do, because I have uh, 2.79, I'm going to open that up and let's see if it'll, it usually imports in 2.79 in the normal Blender render engine and not cycles. This is Blender render, let's delete this cube here. File again import wavefront object go to desktop and there's curtain there and import let's see and there it is I know blender is kind of weird sometimes I mean uh, like I said before sometimes when you import an OBJ object in blender uh, with the cycles render activated it won't appear so you have to go into the old, so to speak, uh, Blender uh, uh, software, which is, this is 2.79, and import it in the normal Blender render window, Blender render window without, which is opposite of cycles, and it will import. I don't know why it does that, but it just does. And uh, to get this to go into uh, 2.8 and above. You have to press Control C to copy this, and I hope this works. Let's open up 2.8 again. 
and let this populate. Let's close that out. Delete the cube and press Control V, and it doesn't still come through. Uh, sometimes Blender just does some weird stuff, and this is one of those times. Just like I said before, if you are wanting to use the curtain generator in a lower uh, version of Blender besides 3.0, you can import it as an, a wavefront object into 2.79, and it will come in. For some reason, it doesn't come in 2.8, which I don't understand, but 2.79 it will appear as an, a wavefront object. And then that's today's Blender quick tip. And I'll have to try to figure out why it's not coming into 2.8. It has a wavefront object. It doesn't make any sense. We've applied the modifiers. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, but once again, just want to send our condolences to the people who were killed today in the mass shooting that happened just down the street from me at, at St. Francis Hospital. And, uh, and I'm just going to end on that note. Thank you guys for watching, and you all take it easy and stay safe. All right, bye.